Hi, I'm Peter Birch and today we've gone into the rainforest along with my mate here, Gobbles the Bush Turkey, to look at something that I fear a little bit more than most things, and that's an eight-legged foe. That's right, an eight-legged foe. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for finding me. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button to continue the joint adventure. For everyone else, and Gobbles and myself, let's get down and find this eight-legged little creature. Righto, so we're here in the rainforest, basically in my backyard, and I've got myself a bush turkey down here. These guys are an absolute amazing animal. This is not the animal that we're going to be looking at today, but it's one of many animals that I get to find around here in this absolute magnificent area, this rainforest. It's an Australian bush turkey. These guys build a, basically a big bush mound. They'll scrape together all the fallen leaf litter and all that sort of stuff and build this great big big mound. The bigger the mound, hopefully he can encourage a female to come down and lay eggs in the mound. And then this guy gets to maternally incubate or check out and protect those eggs right until they hatch and then he gets to look after the babies as well. It's an extra bonus for that guy. Now one of the other cool things in this area here are these bangalow palms. That's right, a bangalow palm. Very different to the big uh, cabbage palms that we get around here and um, just something a little bit different I guess in the rainforest here but what we're looking at today in particular is this here this ground now um, these rocks so these rocks basically leaf litter and rocks in this area means that we're going to be able to find something like the Sydney funnel web spider now these guys are highly venomous spiders towards humans Basically, if the spider bites a dog or a cat, the venom basically doesn't affect it at all. It affects anything that's human. So that's right. So even if you're a monkey and you get to play with one of these things, you're going to be in for a bit of trouble. Now, um, I did scratch around a little bit earlier and I found one, but um, I just wanted to show you the terrain that you can find them. And it's these, basically, if you find any rock on rock in this rainforest area with leaf litter and dirt around it, just wondering where my mate Gobbles is. I don't want him to come up and eat that spider before I get to show you. Now, um, this is the terrain that you will find these guys, more than likely, is in all these sort of areas here. So typically what they will do is they'll build a web and the web basically goes horizontal to the ground and it'll go underneath the rock and nine times out of 10, you lift up a couple of rocks and you'll actually get the fine one. Um, and sometimes you'll find nothing at all. So you can see there's a few isopods down there, slaters as we like to call them. And those guys are down there hanging out. Now, um, like I said, I do have one here that I did actually find a little bit earlier, just so you guys can check it out. Righto, so this is uh, this is the, the spider in question here. Now, like I said, I'm not a very big fan of these spiders. And, um, you know, just because I don't like spiders means I have to kill them. Now, look at that. That is the typical defense posture of the funnel web spider. Now, we look closely right there. There, the big fangs right there. Now, this is a female funnel web spider. Now, the female funnel web spiders are much bigger than the males. They have a larger abdomen. Uh, the males actually on their second arm will have a, a little, uh, basically a little barb on the arm itself. And that's used for grappling the females for mating purposes. Now, as you can see, um, quite defensive. These guys are very defensive and for good reason. You know, I mean, they're, they're a large spider, um, often seen as a, a food item for many, many animals. Um, like I said, that venom only really affects humans. Look at that. So, you know, it is a big spider, and like I said, they become very defensive very quickly. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to let this one go back into the bush, because like I said, it's, it's not about hurting the animals. If you fear them, it's about respect and getting to understand the animals and have a bit more knowledge. So as you've seen, that is an Australian megalomorph. Basically, uh, these particular spiders are found within a 100 kilometer radius from the Sydney Basin. Um, quite scary to know that, I guess. And it's probably even scarier for most people to think that these things um, live in our backyards. Now, for me, it's a normal thing. Uh, I get used to it. 
and prime habitat is uh, down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it go back into its prime habitat, which is this area here. Uh, basically, I've got a stream that runs up here through the valley and um, lots of moisture. And of course, nice thick leaf litter means it keeps the, or maintains the moisture for long periods of time. And um, this guy's going to find a really good home, especially down here, down this area here. There's a couple of nice big rocks. Um, like I said, it's a female. The females basically set up shop. They set up an area where they spread their net, basically put their web down and hunt. And then um, during that period of the year, the males will become a little bit more active. That's usually in early spring, they become a little bit more active and the males will be out looking for females. Now, one of the crazy things is, and as I let this, let this girl go, is uh, particularly the, um, the males of this species are three times more toxic. That's right, the venom is three times more toxic than the female. Now, the female's venom is enough to <laughs> cause some serious illness and actually kill you three times that means it's going to kill you even more now um, this particular spider along with a few other things reminds me of a spider I found back in Africa oh, man. looks like I've got the misfortune of finding myself a, uh, a horned baboon spider right here I mean Typically, it's very much similar to some of the Australian species of uh, spiders, in particular the funnel web spider. They'll actually have this entrance heavily covered in web, and the tunnel actually goes right under the rock here. I mean, spiders are really not my thing, as you know. Uh, don't really want to play with this guy too much. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's show, especially about an eight-legged foe, something that I don't really like much at all, are spiders. Now, um, that gaboon spider was absolutely amazing, along with the Australian funnel webs. They're so similar in a lot of their attributes. There's big fangs, but I tell you what, I'm not going to be handling any big spiders or even any spiders at all unless I really need to. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Make sure you give me a like, give us a thumbs up, and then all's more. And as always... Make sure to hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Until next time, thanks for watching Critic Cam.